What is up, everybody? I want to talk very quickly about the subject everyone is talking about, Caitlin Clark, and why I think we are greatly underestimating her impact. If you look at television viewership for last year's Final Four, this year's Final Four, they were, I think, the highest ever in the women's game was seven or eight million. Caitlin and team delivered around 13 or 14 million people for the Final Four game, almost 20 million people for the championship game. She is an absolute comet. Last night, they sold out the WNBA draft. Uh, when's the last time anyone ever watched the WNBA draft? They sold out her jersey in an hour, I think, on, on uh, Fanatics, which is crazy to see, right? She's got all these sponsorships. But if you think about this, when are, when are the last times we saw anything like this? Uh, I'll give you a great example. He just played last weekend in the Masters, Tiger Woods, right? When the Tiger effect was at its fullest form, Tiger was the draw. Tiger was the field. Tiger elevated the pay grade for every single other golfer professionally at that time. The purses weren't as big. The attendance wasn't as big. And we're seeing that now. And what's happened? Since uh, golf has split, right, between Live and the PGA. And as of this morning, I just read the Masters final round coverage 10 million viewers. 10 million. Half of what Caitlin Clark's viewership was. Why do I say that? Because people think, oh, women's basketball is on this meteoric climb. Look, it's better, it's getting better. But I got some bad news for you. When Caitlin leaves, which she has, viewership is going to drop. The NBA has never returned to the viewership it had when Michael Jordan left. Look it up. Take a look at golf's numbers. Nowhere near what it was at the height of Tiger Woods. What's going to happen to women's basketball? I hope she elevates the women's game. She's already elevated the presence of the WNBA. What's going to happen in college? It's going to drop. Do you know why? Well, because this. Where are the villains, right? This one motion last year to Haley Van Lith lit up the LSU team, created conflict, right? There were enemies. And because of the longevity of the women's game, we had year over year conflict to follow. There's nothing better. She's an unbelievable talent. No one wants to tune in, which I think this is the, you know, this is the most um, obvious component that people aren't talking about. There have been six, three women that played before. Okay, look at Rebecca Lobo. She was great and boring. Carmelo Cardoso, whatever, the six foot seven inch Brazilian for South Carolina, uh, dominating, boring. Who wants to watch a tall female, not that athletic, throw it off the board and catch it and make two point baskets? I'm sorry, the marketplace won't be there. Caitlin is absolutely a comet. What is, what is a comet? They come around every 20 years. Uh, millions of people, what was it, that last week, tuned into a eclipse, a solar eclipse. It's going to happen, what, in 20 or 40 years? That's Caitlin Clark.